Hey everybody, Jim here. Well, I just got back from seeing Wonder Woman, the best DC movie since The Dark Knight Rises easily, and easily the best movie in the DC Cinematic Universe that they've been setting up lately. As you well know, may know if you've been following me for a while, Batman vs. Superman was a pretty crushing disappointment for me. I mean, it wasn't like the worst thing ever, and the, the Ultimate Cut did improve things a little bit. The Ultimate Cut fixed some of the narrative problems, but even in the Ultimate Cut, it's still a highly flawed, highly discombobulated movie. Man of Steel was a little better, but also had some definite problems with its narrative. Wonder Woman has a wonderful flow to it. Like, this really feels more like a cohesive, coherent movie th than Batman vs. Superman. Certainly much more than Suicide Squad did, which jumped around like crazy. Didn't feel like it had any clue what kind of movie it was want wanted to be. This one had a very nice, cohesive flow. This was a very well-made movie. The action sequences are all really well-staged. Wonder Woman, yet you kind of, you haven't really seen a female superhero like her, kind of that just walks in there and just kicks all kinds of ass. She has all these, she's immensely strong and just, just works her way through soldier after soldier like that, just breaks people, slices people, and it's still PG-13, so not, nothing like graphic, but yeah, it's pretty like hard and intense, the action sequences in this movie. Um, I... To say this is the best superhero movie ever made with a female lead would be a massive understatement because, let's be honest, all superhero movies with a female lead in the past have been terrible. There have not been a single one that's even been slightly watchable. A Catwoman, a Supergirl, or borderline abominations. Just unwatchable garbage. So honestly, this could have just been a mediocre movie. It could have been no better than Batman vs. Superman and still have been the best female-led superhero movie ever made. But it so happens that it's a lot better than Batman vs. Superman. Um, every performance in this movie was well done. Gal Gadot really made a good a good Wonder Woman. And, and, and if you hear the controversy about how it being banned in Lebanon, and I'm part Lebanese myself, so I take no pleasure in trashing one, one of my ancestral homes, but it amazes me just how petty that nation really is that they would ban this movie because the actress is Israeli. It really does show the immense religious bigotry p present in that region. Really just how visceral it is. People often un underestimate it, but it really is there and it's really, really terrible. And it's a shame they're going to be denied this awesome movie for such stupid reasons. And I can safely say that uh, this movie did not feel like it had any kind of feminist political agenda, which was something I was a little worried about. If you followed me, you'll also know that I'm not much a fan of modern third wave feminism. And I know a lot of them had like really stupid complaints. What was that about? Or armpit hair? Like, grow up. Or I find something reasonable to complain about. Like, of course she's going to look un unrealistically beautiful more than the average woman. She's... Literally a goddess in this movie, okay? They weren't going to cast someone who was like pimple-faced as Wonder Woman. They were going to cast a very beautiful actress, and of course they did. Just That's just reality. You don't see men complaining that Chris Pine is more handsome than them. I mean, sure, he's a good-looking fellow. So just just grow up, you know? Learn learn to live with what you got and learn to be happy with what you got, okay? It's it, all right, It's petty and, and obnoxious when you complain about stuff like that. But that, that's a tangent for another video but I'm gonna get into spoiler territory for the end of the, of the movie so if you don't if you haven't seen the movie click away go away but and come back because this is kind of important I kind of felt the ending was a bit of a cop-out it kind of the, throughout the whole movie Wonder Woman talks about Ares and there's kind of there's kind of a moment where after she kills what she thinks is Ares and uh, the fighting continues that there's kind of a realization maybe there is no Ares, maybe mankind is just bad. Like, it almost seemed like they were going for Wonder Woman coming to a real realization about the true nature of mankind. And she does to an extent, but they did eventually have Ares appear, all right? Um, I forgot his name, but it's played by the same actor who played uh, Lupin in Harry Potter. Good actor. And, and of course, there's a big um, effects-filled battle between the two, and it's a really cool. But it's a really cool battle. It's really cool, well staged. But it almost felt like they missed an opportunity to be a little deeper by not having 
such a effects-filled battle, but I guess everyone would have been disappointed if there was a superhero movie in the modern era that didn't have that, so... Whatever, it was It was still a really cool sequence. It was still It was still good. This may be a bit of a nitpick, but it was something that bothered me watching the movie. When you have the Germans speak, they don't speak German. They speak English with a crappy German accent. Seriously? You have such a low opinion of your audience that you think your audience can't read subtitles? Come on. Yeah, that was a bit uh, a bit stupid, but again, that's a, that's a nitpick. This is overall a very, very good movie. I don't know if I'd like it better than Logan. I probably would like it a bit better than Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It had a serious tone like Logan. Batman vs. Superman did as well, but this movie made much better use of it. Or It wasn't like a joke-a-thon. There's a couple moments of comic relief, but... Particularly in the first half, it gets kind of darker as it goes along, but it, wa it wasn't like a joke -a thon like Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was. It was a very, tried to be a very serious movie, and that's a good thing. That really worked for what it was trying to be. If you're expecting anything like the 70s show, Wonder Woman, yeah, you're not going to get it here. You're getting a serious superhero movie that just happens to have a beautiful female lead, and that's what you get. And if you're a fan of superhero movies, if you're a fan of like, a fan of even just action fantasy, you're you're gonna like this movie. I am so happy the DC Cinematic Universe has got to win because I really do want the DC Cinematic Universe to succeed. I really do want these movies to be good. I mean, I got branded like a Marvel fanboy for trashing Batman versus Superman. No, I was um, a disappointed DC fanboy when that movie came out. No, I wanted I wanted the movie to be better than it was, but it, it disappointed me. So I'm very happy that uh, we got to win with this one. And I'm hoping Justice League follows suit. I'm very sorry about the reason why Zack Snyder to drop out of that movie. That uh, that's absolutely terrible. That he lost his daughter. That's uh, my heart. My heart breaks for him and anyone who's ever lost someone to suicide. Okay, I've um, nothing but sympathy for that. But I'm really hoping Josh Whedon can like steer things in a new and better direction. He did a great job in the Avengers, so I think he will. It's kind of cool. The same guy who did Avengers is now doing Justice League. And overall, I have a much more hopeful outlook for the DC Cinematic Universe now. And I like this movie, and I think you should all check it out. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.